Our next German video from 2011 shows the marriage of nature and technology. No, it's not a bird, it's not a plane. This is the man-made smart bird. We flew to Germany to speak to the man behind the video, Dr. Heinrich Franzen. There's a huge difference between flapping mechanism and this optimized flying operations of a real bird, and we did it in this flying robot. Over 2.3 million people have marveled at the magnificent flying machine. So why is it called Smart Bird? We called this flight model Smart Bird because there's a lot of technology inside, which is very, very smart. Thank you, Heinrich. So how did these German engineers conquer flight? The most difficult thing about recreating a bird's wing is how complex they are. They have very complicated shapes that twist, bend, and move up and down. And that is not an easy shape to get a machine to recreate. So rather than having fixed wings like an airplane or a glider, it has several joints in the wings allowing it to bend, flex, and twist. As it flaps its wings downwards, the smart bird produces a force on the air down. This, in turn, produces a force on the bird upwards for lift. Now, at the edge of the wings, though, since they're curved, what that's doing is actually scooping air and pushing it behind it. And what that does is propel the bird forward. That is smart. But will a flying robot bird fool the real thing? We have the chance to go outside. Uh, suddenly, a lot of herring gulls uh, came in, and they were aggressive. The reaction was strange, so they have to learn what kind of bird is that. The very fact that the engineering community has been trying to make a machine that flies like a bird for a long time, ever since Da Vinci, just goes to show how difficult it is to actually do.